everybody, it is me, Lifesimmer, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions. So, before, as usual, we jump into the gameplay, I have a announcement sort of thing to make that you guys will probably hear me say again in other videos. Um, but I am going to Playlist Live this weekend. For those who don't know what Playlist Live is, you missing out. It is my first time going to Playlist Live and I'm very nervous. Like, girl, I am so nervous. Like, I am literally an awkward little potato. When it comes to meeting people, I just, unless they, okay, unless somebody makes me feel welcomed, I feel so awkward and, like, shy, but I am going to Playlist Live this weekend, and it's, like, a YouTube event for those who don't know. I'm very excited, and you guys will definitely hear me say this again because I want to post a video talking about it. I'm just very nervous, but I just thought I'd let you guys know in case some of you guys are going to Playlist Live. If you are... Let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to meet y'all. Anywho, um, we are back. I'm also back from vacation, which is lovely, by the way, for those who didn't care. Uh, Ben's eating some waffles this morning, and Portia actually... Oh, okay. Okay, these two are like hitting it off. I like, I like. I think I want Portia to ask uh, Alexander, Alexander? <laughs> Alexander on a date maybe. I think that would be amazing. <laughs> I think that would be the highlight of my life. If they went out on a date. So I'm going to discuss our favorite TV shows because <laughs> that's that's life. In reality, it would actually be, what do you watch on Netflix? <laughs> and I'm going to complain about dirty dishes. Yeah, okay. We're trying to flirt here. We're going to talk about the rain because it won't stop raining. I say that as it stops raining. Okay, game. I see how it is. I see how it is. But I want these two to kind of hit it off. And I want... <laughs> Portia to be kind of the go-getter with all of this. I feel like Alexander's a little shy, so I think it would be fun. Also, I just woke up, so my voice probably sounds like a 40-year-old a man, but I mean, when does it not sound like a 40-year-old man or a 12-year-old boy, right? Oh, okay, they're liking it, they're liking it. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, in the bathroom right next to the toilet in our cheap shower right here. This is, this is good living. Okay, ask him out on a date. <gasps> Stop it. Is this happening? It's like, sure, Portia, sure. All right, let's do this. We can tear up the town together. So awkward and cute okay so we are going to take them i want to go out with them that's the thing i don't want to send them into like the bistro and be like peace i want to actually go with them so i mean it is the last day of summer we could easily go to the festival which is <sighs> the lamest festival i've ever seen to be honest maybe we'll head to the festival once it gets dark outside, we'll light off some of these fireworks. But other than that, peace, deuces. And um, there's not much to do here. I definitely want to place down a bunch of community lots. That's what I need to do. But maybe we'll head to the beach. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go here. And there's just like this random guy in like a scientist suit out here on the beach. What are you doing, Rich? All alone out here on the beach. Just standing here. I'm a little creeped out. All right, Benny boy, my Ben Ben. He is going, oh my goodness. She's crafting away over here and it's looking pretty good. Ben actually needs to go work on some of the stuff. He's gonna go and vent. Hopefully he doesn't catch on fire because he's been catching on fire lately when he invents and it's getting a little scary. I don't want my Sim to die, so just saying. Oh, and here they are, they're already here. That was really fast. Oh my goodness, Portia. <laughs> Portia, you're on a date, girl. 
She's like, listen, I don't care if I'm on a date. He's just like, I'm going to go swim in this water. I see a shark, but I'm going to get in there anyways with my yellow eyeshadow. Okay. This is actually going to be their relationship right here. Alexander is going to be the quirky one doing his thing. And Portia's just going to be like the little diva. The little diva. Oh my gosh. I'm putting my phone on silent. That phone is so freaking annoying. Ignore the call. Oh. Oh, it's actually our job. Oliver Greenwood is furious about a double cross that can't be discussed over the phone. My services are needed. So should I interview Oliver Greenwood for the details so I can get to work? Yes, of course, but not right now. We're on a date. Um, this date is like a legit thing, so... He could be our future husband. That's that. Let's go ahead. Can I mute this? Because... Silence phone. Goodbye. Good riddance. Alexander, you're sick. You need to stop playing in the ocean. I'm going to have Portia, I guess, probably... I'm going to try to give him a kiss, right? Portia, get up. Alexander, st st stop swimming in the water. Okay, she's going to come over here, and we're going to give him a hug. Yes. An amorous hug. Hopefully he's into it. You like that, Alexander, huh? Good. Okay, and we are going... Ooh, a heat of the moment kiss. We're going to do it. Oh, he's totally into it, Alexander. Okay, cool. And I guess we will... Oh, now we have all of this. Oh, no. They are getting really close really quick. We're going to give him a shy kiss, which is weird. We just, like, had a makeout session with him, and now we're going to be shy about it. Um, We will um take a romantic photo together. It's like sunset. Why not, right? Okay, don't mind me. I'm like, I, I am that mom that takes photos of everything. We are going to give him a kiss again. We are going to embrace him. We're even going to dip kiss him. And he's probably going to be like, what? But we're going to do it. Get it, Portia. I love it. Why are they so cute? <laughs> okay. And then Alexander's going to be like, he's going to pull like a little suave move on her. He, ooh, is going to make up with her. She's probably like a shock to her. She's probably like, whoa, he's really into me. I don't have to kill him. Good stuff. Okay, she is going to then, ooh, actually, he, oh, it's sunset. It's perfect. And then Portia totally has to do it. She is going to propose going steady. Alright. And after one day, they are dating. That is Sims logic for you. Um, also, sixth grade logic for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're in sixth grade, no offense. No offense. Trust me. That's just how it is. Middle school is like that, too. You meet a boy, he tells you you're pretty, you guys text like you guys love each other, and it lasts for a week. Some people, however, they, they make that last, and good for you. I had a friend that, in middle school, she dated a boy for like two years, and I was just like, I haven't had a boyfriend yet. <laughs> but, um, good stuff. Okay, so they are officially dating, and I love it, and I think we need to go woohoo. It's, it's only the right thing to do. It's only the right thing to do. So now I'm going to send them off. They are going to go tour the theater. And they're going to woohoo in there. And I think Ben is going to be all alone and come out here and set some fireworks off all by himself. Just by himself. He doesn't need friends or a lover. He's just going to do it himself. Okay. And Isabella, I think maybe she'll go out with Des or something, like on a date or something. It's a Saturday night. Let's, yeah, let's go out. 
So let's go. Okay, how about, don't tell me you're tired. Isabella, wake up. What is this? Oh, make a wood sculpture. Definitely. Oh, it is so pretty right now too. Oh my goodness. We are going to head to the festival together. Can we make wood sculptures now? I'm assuming so. I'm assuming so. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll do that when we come home, I guess. Ooh, my voice. Like I said, I just woke up. I, oh my, okay, Ben is clearly <laughs> doing his fireworks. Let's um, zoom out and hopefully see them. There they are! So pretty. I love the Sims, man. I do. This makes me happy. Just seeing those fireworks. Yes, boo. Oh, and there's a unicorn over there. Too bad I don't care. This is not pets, even though I really desperately want to go over there and be like, ah, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, unicorn. It's running wild over there. Here we go, Ben. Do the next one. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? Okay, they're going to go woohoo backstage. Are they woohooing? They better be. All right, come on, Ben. Give me another one. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> nice little fireworks show to end summer. Right? Good stuff. And she's talking to Des. Yes, she is. Okay, are these two woohooing? They better of. Yeah, they did. I think. <gasps> What's happening? Um, why is, why is that noise? Um, is, are we getting robbed? Oh my god, we are, we are, we are getting robbed. Uh-uh, no, I'm not even home. I'm not even home. Kat Steelberg. Oh no, honey, your name might be Kat, but you're looking like a turtle. This is ending right now right here portia can you end this no no what is she about to say i don't have money i don't have money for this can i call the police even though i'm not there oh my i don't think i have a burglar system i don't oh my i hate myself what can one do they don't even know they don't even know oh my gosh and by the time we get here, she'll be done. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Why are you doing this to Ben? Are you serious? He's just, oh, and you hear him lighting his fireworks. Little does he know. Oh my gosh! Cat! Oh, you are, you are dead. You are dead to me, Cat. Portia, Portia's killing her, guys. Portia's kill. Goodbye, cat. Literally, you were done for it. Oh, Ben Koto just got robbed. I know he did. Poor thing. All right, well, they're on their way home. They're probably like, what in the what just happened? Portia's gonna, Portia's gonna get her. Portia is gonna get her. Ruined our date. Ruined our date. But, I mean, I feel bad for Ben. Poor thing. Look at him. He's over here like, <gasps> what is life? Um, Ben, if you collect these flowers, maybe, oh, hey, there's just a horse running by. Maybe we'll be able to afford to get you your workbench again. Poor thing. <laughs> I love how it's, they didn't take anything other than his workbench. Like, oh, you think you want a career in this industry? Wrong, honey. Poor Ben. Poor Ben. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pick the Indian blanket, the Daisy. Daisy from the Gatsby. The Great Gatsby. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pick that up. And I saw some fireflies over here, which I definitely want. So we're gonna go catch those. This part's more leisurely than, you know, work. We didn't catch one, then catch it again. I want one. Oh, and they're gone. Exactly how I feel. Where is Mr. Dez, though? I know we're like, oh, no, 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 no. There they are. Stop. Go get one. I know we're like best friends now, right? Yeah. 
they're best friends, which is awesome. That's really going to help her work and work performance improve um because you really need to have good relationships with your co-workers which i want to see do i have another co-worker not that i know of okay so we are going to head home everybody's gonna go to sleep <laughs> we definitely need this <laughs> oh a lazy cook at the restaurant has been flushing potato peelings down the toilet I'm potato, so they have been flushing me away. We will definitely be doing that as we need the Smolians now, sadly, because, you know, we got robbed. But I mean, whatever. Oh, okay, let's, he has, um, are they good ones or no? Uh, he didn't really get good flowers either, which means we're gonna have to steal stuff and kill Cat, no biggie. Oh, and he made a little tentacle wind-up toy. That's adorable. Let me see this. Okay, um, move it in here. This is a little tentacle wind-up. I don't know why this is so cute, but it's cute and I like it, okay? It's cute and I like it and we could sell it for nine smillions, which we need to actually get a promotion. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this little dog toy right here and my wind-up toy. And we got a promotion. Congratulations, Ben has been conferred the new title of duct tape rigger by the Twinbrook Town Council. Cool. Duct tape is a must-have tool for every inventor. Okay. Good stuff. Duct tape is important. And uh, we're going to go ahead and sell our flowers now. Okay. Oh, these are worth 400 smolians. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to buy his invention table quite yet, which is super sad. In the next part, it's we're hitting it. We're hitting it hard. I mean, um career-wise, it's that's pretty much all we're going to do in the next part. It was work on all of that. So he's going to go to sleep. Alexander, you know what? Wait, the girls, not the girls. Um bless their hearts but you two need to wake up because alexander and portia can actually sleep in the same bed now to go ahead and end this part here i hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to and also do plan on uploading some more videos today of ambitions sims 4 sims 2 all of that good stuff because i have been mia and i definitely have missed you all i love you bye everybody